Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. After wandering around and talking like an idiot in the last episode, I'm gonna go into the ice cavern, because that's really where we need to go. Okay, the ice cavern is your basic dungeon. Start on one end, get to the other end. Oh, hold on. Huh. Uh, in this dungeon, touching things like this mist Ah, crap, disappeared. Touching the mist will bring you into a battle. And, as you'd probably expect, the enemies in this area are weak to fire attacks. Although it's not really terribly relevant. At this early stage in the game, most attacks will take down an enemy. Oh, shit. Oh, that's right, the son of a bitch will switch aged pig with, uh, with its target. So you want, when you decide you want to kill it, Make sure you take it down as quickly as possible. So the fire attack was kind of useful. Ugh, my AP gain is so slow. Remember, we gotta gain AP in order to get the uh, abilities. Like, Steiner is really the one I'm concerned about. Steiner is the one I'm really concerned about because he has the newer weapons. 27 of 55 are like less than halfway there. Ah, shit. Okay, during that last battle, during the XP gaining scene, Vivi learned an ability. Fire. Now notice, instead of a progress bar, the progress bar is full now, and there are a bunch of stars there. That means that that ability is now linked to VV indefinitely. It is a, an, a, an active ability, meaning you have to actually cast it. It's not a passive ability, it just exists in the background. But I can now e unequip the items which give him that ability. He also has thunder. And he'll still retain that ability. This is as opposed to say, Zadan, who has Detect and Flee here, both active abilities, if I would take the Mage Masher off, he would lose that ability, the ability to use that, up until the AP. Yeah, the gain is complete. There are treasure chests around here, so let's pick that crap up. Tent, very nice. Very useful, actually. Tents, like, in uh, a lot of the Final Fantasy games. As well as, like, uh, Xenogears, I think, had tents. They recover all of your HP and MP during, uh, while you're at a save point. Or on the world map, which is basically, like, one big save point. What are those, flans? Yeah, flans. Flans are, uh, like, in all Final Fantasy games, are essentially a bunch of, um... What do you call them? Uh, combination fail because he was asleep. 
are a bunch of like elemental creatures. These ones are weak to fire, so that's the ability we should use. It's strong against physical attacks, so Steiner attacking it won't really do us any good. The cave imp, though, he can take out. Oof, that's a I'm really gonna want VV to be around for this. Uh, Um, Garnet is weak in attack, so I'll have her hit, hit, hit me. Ah, shit. I did a lot more damage than I was hoping. Uh. Alright, where's my little bastard? Garnet and Healer. And then Steiner used your sword art to the fire attack to take him out. Take it out. This battle gave me way too much trouble. <laughs> Garden learned the cure. I would imagine that there was a time in the history of this world where Places like the Ice Cavern saw a lot of foot traffic going through, which would explain how people like um, Vivi and was able to hear about it, or Garnet were able to hear about it. Vivi can burn things down like this down, give us access to treasure chests and stuff. Cool little uh, aspect. Something to watch out for, be able to go and do those kinds of things. Anyway, caves like this probably saw quite a bit of traffic back during the olden days of... Um, During the old day, olden days where people had to travel around this world basically on foot, traveling through the dangerous mist areas, people probably used, um, probably used passageways like the ice cavern in order to get between the valleys and above the mist and all that kind of stuff where they could actually live. But since the proliferation of airship travel, which I guess was maybe around 30 years ago, places like this cave have probably fallen into disuse. So this may be the first time anybody's really traveled through this cave in some time. Okay, there's a couple of uh, things we can get in here. Up here, we, uh, the treasure chest up here. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna wait till this mist disappears before I close the dialogue box. I don't want to get into a fight here. And now that that's gone, uh, we got that treasure, we can have Vivi get us down here. Yeah, because... That should have worked. <laughs> Whatever. Mage Masher, a weapon that we already have. I mean, we got it later than... Uh, we got it earlier only because I stole it during the boss battle. So that was an entirely optional way of getting it. This was optional as well. You could probably also buy it at the next village that we stumble across. But, um... But by then, it won't be as nice of a weapon. You always want to keep an eye out for what you can get, so you can always get, like, the best, newest and best items and all that before it becomes, like, generally available to you. Elixir! Very useful. Elixirs in all the Final Fantasy games. Usually restore all of your HP and your MP. Good for somebody like, uh, Vivi or, or Garnet. Ah, that's another. I thought it was uh, nearing the end of that. Phoenix down. Nice, nice, very nice. BB, get us through there. Get all the way over the paddock. Uh, whatever. Turns out flans can be hurt by physical attacks. Uh, I mean, it's, it's usually something that these guys can't do, but, uh, whatever. Jeez. Uh, I 
want that beast killer, but I want to make sure I get Flea Gill before. Okay. You. Baby, it's yours now. I could also give it to her, but it doesn't give her an ability like it does Vivi. It's yours, Vivi. something over here we want to get. It's a Moogle trapped in ice. What? We just saved you. Ah, oh, crap. More of this garbage. Uh, never mind. Oh, of course, Moogles are save points, but we can do Magnet here. Okay, now this, I think this might be... Uh, uh, this is the second letter, I guess, that we can deliver in this game. Oh, hold on, uh, yeah, we got the letter. It's, uh, save, of course. And, of course, uh, our characters are kind of beaten up, and Vivi and Steiner have basically run out of MP, so I want to use a tent here to, um, restore them. In the event that you have enough tents, you can just sort of wander around and build your XP and your, uh, AP. Almost, uh, as, as long as you have enough tents to keep going. Tents are kind of expensive, though, so... Uh, 38.55. I want more AP, damn it. I was just thinking for a moment. Okay, uh, Garnet, BB, and Steiner are unconscious for this. So we're gonna have to go with alone. Um. Oh, actually, okay. Their inventory's off limits, so I can't change equipment with them, but whatever. Boss battle time against the Black Waltz number one. Ah, 
Ah, that sucks. Okay. Sea Lion, a monster that we have to fight. Now, as is usual, I'm going to uh, spend a couple of turns trying to steal from this creature. Although, it can actually be somewhat problematic this early in the game. And with only one character here. If Zidane falls... Oh, we got the Mithra bag. Very nice. If Zidane falls, then the fight is over. I'm also pretty close to, um, pretty close to Tramps, so... Once I trance out, I can... Okay, I got the Ether. Okay, this thing should trance... This attack should trance Zidane. And then I can uh, lay waste with this son of a bitch. There we go, we're tranced. Uh, I'm gonna attack both of them, but the only one I really want to kill right now is the sea lion. I still have to make sure, I have to use my potions to ensure that I don't die here. But since I'm tranced, I can do a lot of attack power. Ah, shit. The Black Waltz is down. The Black Waltz is the one I wanted to steal from. Damn it. Ah, shit. Uh, heal yourself and then uh, hit the thing one more time. I hope the Black Waltz didn't have anything I wanted. I made a mistake there. I'll look it up later, what I could have stolen from it. Hopefully this is enough to kill it. And it's dead. Finally got them AP in there. Plenty of money, too. What the hell's that? Frickin' Zorn and Thorn, really? Seriously, you're gonna, gonna accuse him of that? Alrighty, uh, this can pretty much be the end of the episode. So, uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time.